Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, I recommend ako again for the game. Players unknown, battlegrounds, battlegrounds, or PUBG. The lower price point, minimum, and recommended requirements. To yung mga kita niyo sa screen yung ayon, ang minimum requirements ng PUBG and our recommended requirements na PUBG. So, a minimum 8 gigs of RAM, recommended 16, processor, any quad core dati, or yung luma ng NAMD na 6 core, or ngayon is any i5 na 6 gen or higher, or AMD Ryzen 5 or higher. But this video is going to be focusing only muna sa mga builds for Intel and Nvidia combos. Why? Because PUBG is created under NVIDIA graphics na format, not really format yung technology nga as well as Intel processors from the Unreal Engine 4 so mas biased yung game sa mga products na yun. but just to show you AMD products work fine but medyo nagko-compensate onti sa performance than their counterpart nga which is NVIDIA and Intel so Low, minimum build muna then recommended build ay recommended requirement build uh, recommend ko for the first build makabot tayo ng 28,000 yes mahal I know mahal graphics card ngayon mahal yung price nito dati mas mura to but you could may alternative para maging lower dito if you you know game simulan ko na para matapos na to processor wise sa minimum requirements we have the i3 intel core i3 8100 through 4 cores and 4 threads with 3.6 gigahertz for uh, clock speed yan okay na to check na tayo dun since may, may bago tayo motherboard sa so nagsusupport ng 8th generation na you don't need to overclock at mura to this is the motherboard to go to any brand again Branding doesn't really matter, it's your preference, but some brands are really like the ECS, but you ka not know, na ngayon, Asus, you know, so it's up to you. Case and power supply combo, pwede mo tong gandahan, mas bangan ng case, mas bangan ng power supply, but we're gonna recommend only this one because you don't need much power to run this system. And I know with generic top, but Power Logic is somewhat a good brand, even with the generic power supplies, and it's 700 watts. So, yun. Wow. It's 120GB supports Western Digital Green or any 120GB SSD is a must. I promise you. Kung binili ka ng, binili ka ng SSD sa system mo, bilis ng loading ng PUBG mo, hindi kayo maghihintay na, ay, ang black pa rin. Ay, ang tagal mag-loading. Ay, nasa play na. Yun. Ito Tat talaga kailangan mo ko para mawala na yung problema mo na yun. Then, you can add hard drive again for your secondary storage, pictures, games, MA music etc yun lang din mo na lang lagay ito yung primary storage mo for the OS and yung PUBG game mo mismo if you have a bit money why not buy pa 240GB ng any SSD na modern modern SSD kasi mga luma SSD old pa, mahinay ba yung transfer speed nila compared sa mga SSD na modern 8GB of RAM any brand but okay na itong 2400MHz the H310M or any H310 motherboards supports up to 2400 MHz sa mga memory modules nyo. Any, any brand, I swear to God, any brand, okay kayo. Basta kayo preference nyo. Graphics card, any GTX 1050 Ti. Pero recommended ko talaga is the dual fan kung kaya nyo bumili para hindi mainit yung GPU nyo compared sa mga single fan units. And aabot tayo ng 28K nun. This system can run PUBG na hindi nag record just running the game, medium, and naka 1920 by 1080p Pwede very low, sobrang taas ng frames niya makukuha yun. Siguro nasa 100 or 90s, depende sa hindi ba optimized yung game, you know, okay, guys, hindi super optimized yun. Pero sa Nvidia, it runs well uh, Yung graphics card, kung gusto niya magmura, yung ito mga nasa 25k, I guess minus 2k to, nasa 26, 20 gano'n 
Gawin nyo itong GTX 1050 na 2GB model. Pero I would not recommend that at all. Unless sobrang gipit nyo sa budget, tanggalin nyo pa ito, gawin nyo 4 dito. Pero no, wag. Gusto natin ma-feel yung game, how it's meant to be played. Walang stutter, walang lag, walang mabagal na loading. So ito yung nirecommend ko at uh, minimum requirement price point sa available sa bansa natin ngayon. O diba? Ayos? Next, pumunta tayo sa recommended requirements. i5 daw, like this one, but higher clock speed or more threads. Kasi Ryzen has many threads, 6 core to, and 12 thread to. But, again, Intel focus and Nvidia focus mo na tayo. I'll make a video, I guess, soon about the pag may ka AMD counterpart. But, I'm not really requiring, recommending those kasi, yun nga, again, PUBG is created in Unigen Engine. Unigen? Tama. Unreal Engine. Unigen, of course. Unreal Engine 4, which utilize, which is created with Intel processor and Nvidia graphics card focus yung game. So, yun. System requirements again for a different version pag ito, puro yun nga, i7, i5 na higher clock speed and Ryzen 5 1600 and 8GB of RAM pwede na talaga pero dito sa RAM 16. Pero okay na yung 8. Promise. Okay na yun. Pero if 16, why not? May headroom talaga tayo. And graphics card GTX 1060, 6GB daw or better. Uh, but sa build ko na to, we could go, actually we could go, yeah, why not? Mamahal na rin tayo. Let's go with the 6 gigabytes. Punta mo na tayo doon. Any brand will do, but I recommend graphics cards sa my dual cooler. Although medyo costly yun, and mahal talaga. So, you just have to, you know, if you want good cooling, pay for it. Pinakamurang 6 gigabytes, fuck, 18k. Ha! Pinamahal. Sorry, napamura ako. Darating na rin yung mga GTX 1100 series. So, if you want to build a system na latest, eh, pero kung hindi ka na makapakali, build mo na to. So, recommend recommendation ko. Or if not, wait ka na. Onti. Mga ilang buwan pa, darating na yun. Pati yung mga bagong Zen Plus na darating na. Ganda yun. Mas nag-improve na AMD. Going back. So, nagmahalo onti yung price point natin sa system requirements na recommended set ng PUBG. Any case, good, your preference. 8GB of RAM again, pero you can do, go with 16. 120GB of SSD, any brand, ito recommend ko, or anything na mas modern. Tapos, you can go higher, 240GB, 512GB, nasa budget mo yun. Go, go! Sino, pumip sino pumipigil sa'yo? Storage, parang filler lang to eh, but you can go higher. Power supply, recommend ko to, gamit ko to ngayon, but you can go with the uh, Seasonic, or... Maraming brands na maganda eh. Ito, example lang. Be quiet, very good brand but it's really expensive mga modular na yung magaganda yung mga natatanggal yung mga ano, para sa cable maganda. Corsair with a gold rating, very good. Although that I recommend ko to. Yeah, I should change this. Wait a minute, sorry. Yeah, so yun. Kailangan na natin pala, so hindi ko napalitan. Kailangan na mas mataas na wattage and mas magandang rating sa power supply. So I would go with, maganda rin tong Silverstone. Silverstone, Seasonic, Corsair, anything na may bronze plus and 600 watts pataas is good. So let's go with the Silverstone Strider. It is modular. Either this, 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 it's your, it's up to you. Gawin lang natin filler talaga. Tanggalin natin itong VS550 kasi medyo kulang onte, Not really, no? Just for the sake of quality na pinaparallel natin lahat. So, refresh that. And, yan. Change na. GTX 1060, Galax. A good brand. Anything na GTX 1060, again, we're gonna compare na later yung performance nila. And that's about it dito. 47k umabot. So, kung kailang, gusto nyo talaga ng medyo high-end, uh, mag i7 kayo, and mag z kayo ng motherboard, up-to-abot na yun ng nasa 55k plus. And pag Ryzen counterpart naman, next, sabi, next video ko na yun. So, comparing the two performances ng processor na pinili ko, 
6 threads to so more performance a bit and ito 4 cores and 4 threads lang yung kanina na minimum requirements ko dito sa basic effective speed niya 16% but I do not really com I do not really you know umaasa dito sa statistics na to but may pointing headroom talaga to may, may impact <coughs> kasi ganyan utilize ang game ang cores eh yun tapos kukompare natin kanina yung 1050 Ti na 4GB and eto na GTX 1060 6GB memory speed nila ay sumabot ng 7GB per second ito 80GB memory bandwidth 112GB per second and notice noticeable difference is 80GB per second memory bandwidth mas higher yung clock speed ng GTX 1060 and mas mataas ang shader units or CUDA cores it has more memory interface, mas wide yung bus niya, and mas power efficient. O tito, ito naman kailangan ng external power. Mas mahal, noticeable ang difference, but dito sa pricing natin, ang GTX 1060, 1050 Ti ay 9K lang, or 10K rather, pag ni-round up mo, tapos ito nasa 18K. Yes, ganun kamahal ang pricing ngayon. Grabe. So, para may makita kayo na parang not really a benchmark. Gusto ko makita niyo na with an i5 na i5 na 6th gen and my R9380 which is a, like the GTX 960. Ito. And parang ganito siya. Ganito yung performance sa parang makukuha niyo. Similar sa similar din siya dito sa build na to. Mas modern lang talaga yung build and mas diverse pero ito. Let's hey, why not? Na check niyo. Para at least may matry man. Nakita nyo? Oh! Oops. Meet ka lang. Nasa plane ako, nag-record ako nito ah. So, FPP lang kami. 63, 60 frames dropping. Tapos pag nasa populated areas na kayo. Pag nasa loob, nasa 70 plus. FPS to 80. Uh, I'm running on 1920 by 1080. Setting very low. 103 yung screen yung angle. Yung screen with ay, yung view ay yung angle. Screen scale 100%, no V-Sync, no ganon. Very low lang. But I could run it on low and medium. Pero I, since I'm recording, this is the performance ko. So imagine if you're not recording and you're just playing, you'll have more FPS. Yun, galing ko. Wow, joke. <laughs> so yun, nag-dip siya kasi AMD yung graphics card ko. But I don't know, yung, I really can't explain to you much thoroughly, hindi naman ako pa ganung kagaling so yun yung mga parang performance, sige dip ako ng 30 to 40 kasi yun nga medyo demanding yung game na to 4 gigs yung VRAM ko ah na R9 380 ko ah and yung processor ko diba is again tawag na, ayun eh, no, i5 6400, mababa lang clock speed ko kaya medyo hindi ganun kataas frame ko, yeah clock speed, nakaka-apekto yun ah uh, onte kasi the more instructions per clock kaya niyang per cycle na gagawa niya mas marami frame shop na render din so yun and i have 8 gigs of ram which is enough na partido na record ako nito and gamit ko yung radio and relive na recording but if i'm not recording i, I really have good fps i can go medium heck i can even play high pero very low ko yung post processing or low lang kasi grabe yun gumain ng performance even the view distance so medyo tumatagal na ako yun lang muna yung explain ko sa inyo hopefully makagawa pa ako ng isang video if may questions kayo please I'm really here lang sa vacation ko ngayon comment kayo kung may kailangan kayo may question kayo sa build or may modify kayo I could help you I really can I, 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 this is just a hobby I just want to share my knowledge sa inyo and I hope you guys, you know, sit, enjoy the, you know, lecture. <laughs> Sige. And hope you come back for more. Mag-update ako soon pag dumating na yung mga bagong products. Yung GTX 1100 series and the bagong AMD Ryzen processors. Thank you for watching guys. See you in the next video.